I am here with my sister Meg, and she is such an amazing caregiver of people, especially at the end of their lives. So I just want her to tell a little bit about what that's like. So I'm going to flip this around and uh, have her talk to us. So I have found there's just such an amazing grace and beauty with people at the end of their lives. There's a place that holds such purpose and such intentionality. And I've steered three family members through that process. And there's just such peace involved in it. And there's amazing conversations that happen. So I would encourage you to some people, it's full of scary stuff and a little bit fearful. But if you can open up your heart and embrace it in a new way, there's such tender conversations and such grace. I'll just share one example. My mom was kind of in the last stages and really already in transition. Our mom, of course, exactly. And uh, I was out in the garden doing something and she was just in her bed and had been, you know, non-communicative for a few days. And it was really her spirit spoke to mine and said, come on inside now, Meg. I want you with me. And it was a I always use the word palpable, but just this palpable moment. And I knew I had to go inside. And as I did go inside, and she and I had been such good buddies, such good friends, and she was passing away. And she was letting me be a part of her passing. And it was so full of beauty and so tender and so full of grace. So as you navigate that, know that there's peace and there's goodness, even in the midst of those places. Thank you.